Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I am a DevOps engineer at Zeroda. I'm primarily interested in monitoring and observability systems like using Periscope, uh, sorry, using uh, Prometheus and uh, Grafana. Uh, I a blog where I share interesting things about monitoring and just networks in general at mrkaran.dev. And I also happen to have my own uh, self-hosted stack of applications that I uh, use. So uh, this uh, blog, uh, this uh, monitoring thing is also inspired uh, from the same set of principles where I host a lot of applications. So I need to uh, monitor them. So I thought, why not monitor my network as well? So uh, we are in the lockdown since like seven, eight months uh, at the moment. and uh, ISPs uh, of all the things have taken a huge hit because everyone's been working from home. And uh, as you know, that retail uh, network lines, they are not really meant for uh, such high load at, at a very sudden uh, uh, spike. Uh, like uh, the moment uh, the lockdown has been started, uh, there have been uh, some, some of the other ISP problems which keep on happening and uh, people in various groups keep on reporting. So what I wanted to see was uh, what kind of problems is my ISP uh, giving me. And uh, a lot of times it happens that sometimes your friend pings you that hey, uh, check xyz.com is up or not. And your internet, uh, it, it might be fine, but his internet, there might be issues. And it happens even with the same internet provider. So uh, I used to have uh, a lot of these conversations in my uh, in my company group. So I thought, why not uh, just uh, kind of get an overview of how the network is basically performing. So that was the whole idea behind uh, monitoring my ISP. So uh, before diving in the final solution, I had a couple of alternatives which I'd like to discuss uh, here. One of them was smoke ping. So smoke ping is a very old. Uh, monitoring solution for uh, network basically where it's a php application and it uh, gives you a lot of uh, interesting information about your uh, network using icmp probes so uh, but the problem with this is that it comes with its own graphs its own uh, monitoring and alerting system uh, and i was already running uh, grafana in my own uh, digital ocean uh, vps so I didn't want to add another uh, monitoring uh, service just for uh, this one service. So that's that's the only reason I decided against uh, smoke ping. The other was um, uh, a speed test CLI exporter. I actually ran this for a week or something, but then I realized every uh, every speed test you do, it costs you around 50, 70 MB of your uh, bandwidth. And running this frequently every five minutes or something, uh, it's not really recommended if you are on a internet plan which has FEPs, which is basically almost every plan, uh, a retail uh, plan. So that was one reason I didn't go ahead with speed test. Other than that, uh, another reason is that a lot of ISPs uh, peer into uh, the uh, upstreams which speed test site uses. So you might get a flawed. Uh, information that your internet is working fine and fast but uh, it can happen that a lot of regions uh, are very slow for your internet and that happens in uh, the, and that doesn't uh, simulate the real life browsing experience so it's like comparing uh, just benchmarks versus real life experience so that's why i thought okay speed test is not a great idea then uh, before i uh, uh, i mean i interacted with gaurav as he said on the forum I was almost tempted to go ahead with my own uh, simple uh, solution, which was just to ping a couple of sites in a shell script and uh, output them to a SQLite DB. And uh, I have written a program, Golang uh, program, which uh, converts uh, the DB uh, data to Prometheus uh, output format, Prometheus wire format. So I was almost tempted to go ahead with this. But then when I interacted with Gaurav and I found his solution is much more superior and does basically the same thing. So I thought uh, I should not rather reinvent the wheel and uh, check out Telegraph. So uh, Telegraph is basically, uh, it's also a Go, uh, uh, Go uh, program and it uh, basically has this concept of plugins. So plugins are uh, just uh, agents uh, where you can uh, give input, output and 
uh, filter plugins uh, to do a lot of uh, custom monitoring uh, stuff uh, for your infrastructure. So I was particularly interested in uh, the Pink plugin, which uh, basically uses uh, Glinted Pink, which is a Golang uh, dependency. It uh, it also ha comes with a native mode where it just runs a Pink executable available on your operating system. So you can specify whatever mode you want to run it with. I chose the Golang mode because it's more consistent across OSS. Uh, and uh, I was uh, rather uh, very confused about this fact. Uh, I mean, I had a wrong assumption about Telegraph that uh, it only works with InfluxDB, but uh, that's not true. I was looking around the documentation and it actually supports an output plugin to Prometheus. So that was perfect for me. I mean, I really uh, just wanted uh, the Prometheus format uh, for my uh, existing uh, monitoring solution. Uh, and uh, it's not just ping plugin. You can uh, even run DNS plugin, which I'm running because I have a I have my own DNS server on Pi-hole, uh, which I wanted to monitor as well. And you can even run HTTP uh, plugins, which can monitor uh, which can monitor the layer seven upstreams uh, basically. Uh, Telegraph configuration is very simple. Uh, I'll share a sample configuration in the after this session is over. Uh, but the basic idea is, like I said, uh, you just have a plugin. So input plugin you define. It's in the Toml format, and it's very uh, honestly, it's very refreshing to see a Toml over YAML in any of the op ops tool these days. So yeah, you just give a bunch of upstreams, and you. These are all the standard ping uh, arguments that you give, and uh, you, you just specify the output plugin right now, which I uh, already told it's so Prometheus for me, and uh, you just uh, get these uh, metrics uh, in the Prometheus format. So the, these are the type of uh, uh, metrics it exposes for uh, the ICMP uh, monitoring, and you can you can uh, basically get a lot of data. With just uh, three or four metrics, uh, using the uh, by writing queries using the PromQL, uh, which is the Prometheus query language, uh, and visualize this in uh, Grafana. So if you uh, see, this is the basic uh, dashboard where I have a list of upstreams uh, which I have defined in my configuration, and uh, I use Grafana to uh, uh, basically visualize all the metrics which are flowing in. So I'll just go through a couple of um, patterns that you can uh, uh, gauge through all these uh, uh, all the metrics which are exposed by Telegraph to sort of uh, fit in your use case about uh, how you're uh, uh, monitoring or how uh, whatever the use case you are looking for, uh, you're able to uh, do it yourself, basically. So one of them. Uh, it's a packet loss. Packet loss issue keeps on happening uh, almost like fa uh, fairly uh, frequently because uh, let's say uh, one of the, let's say you are in uh, Delhi right now and uh, upstream in uh, Singapore is failing due to ISP routing issues. So uh, these are uh, very frequent. Uh, but uh, packet loss be, uh, beyond a certain percentage, that's when it uh, it uh, kind of uh, impacts a real uh, browsing experience. So in my particular use case, what happens is if I uh, see a lot of uh, packet loss, I uh, tend to reboot the router and that kind of fixes my problem. If you uh, notice that on 1050, I just lost my internet and before that I was getting some packet loss. So what I uh, do is I can basically uh, I can plug these uh, Prometheus al uh, alerts to Alert Manager, which uh, allows me to uh, define a webhook endpoint, HTTP webhook endpoint, and there I can write all my custom scripts. Like if uh, if I get a, a packet loss alert, I can just uh, do a reboot, sudo reboot. So I'm running this on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, and I just have a, uh, I, all of this is localized. So I just uh, have all the shell script and all the uh, very basic HTTP endpoints uh, written over there. Secondly, uh, this one pattern where uh, basically I had a uh, downtime uh, during the night because 
some isp maintenance work was happening or something like that and before that also you can see the ping uh, time had spiked up uh, so basically you can uh, gauge uh, what all uh, how, many, how much uh, percentage downtime your isp is giving you but sadly uh, in india or uh, i guess anywhere you can't really enforce uh, these slas on, at least on the retail connections if you're on corporate lines uh, then it's a different thing but uh, yeah if you're on corporate lines then this can be useful because you can have your own uptime metric and you can give them a report that if your uh, sla is breached but interestingly and this happened uh, just yesterday uh, as i'm giving my talk on my mobile internet and this talk is about monitoring your uh, home internet so what happened was uh, it, so i have airtel uh, in my uh, hometown and uh, it will just started randomly digging uh, in this front of my house in the name of uh, uh, just uh, uh, putting in fiber cables uh, so i'm not having internet since like last uh, 30 hours right now and this is the uptime metric i have captured uh, this is 24 hours uptime uh, metric uh, which was taken in the afternoon so i still don't have my internet but at least i have my graphs to see that i don't have internet um so this one is also interesting so uh, there's a, a metric called ping result code in telegraph which uh, gives you uh, one or zero uh, value zero means uh, it's successful one means that uh, the host is not found and uh, actually it returns two also two means some other error so one means a host not found that means uh, it's a dns problem like all the other things it's always dns so you can see uh, the both the time frame actually match with uh, some issues in my dns server so uh, th this is the this is the graph of the dns query time where the dns query time just on an average it just spiked during 242 3 uh, pm and that's the same time where my uh, ping result code was also showing some dns related issues so uh, that could possibly mean that either my pi hole or uh, the way I connect through my DNS server, which is tail scale, which is a WireGuard mesh network, uh, either of these were having issues. Uh, and if uh, I want to dig in, uh, I can basically get some more information from this graph and I can uh, dig through uh, the problem. And uh, yeah, this is again a packet loss metric uh, where I can see. Uh, if packet loss is more than X percentage, 40 percentage is really uh, noticeable if you are browsing uh, any any site, uh, because uh, like in a TCP, uh, a TCP packet has to go back and forth if uh, such high packet loss is there. So you can see which particular upstream you get uh, this packet loss, uh, uh, a very high packet loss for basically. So uh, it usually happens uh, for the sites in uh, US East one or similar area areas where uh, the ISP routing is not really uh, efficient or uh, or in the cases where uh, the CDNs are hosted not in the country but uh, in places where your network uh, your ISP operator doesn't have a proper uh, pairing to it so you can you can see uh, that as well. 